Well, today we have something a little different for you. You're used to seeing travel segments, cooking food. Today we have something a little more intense. She's a beauty. Her name is Steph Davis, but she's going to take us into her world of intense rock climbing and base jumping. She's also a vegan, and she's going to show us her way to cook organically and vegan. It's going to be great. There's so much preparation to do a jump. You pack your parachute, you walk up, and you have to like collect yourself and get organized for this jump that's going to take 20 seconds. When you get to the edge, you really have to decide when it's right to jump. And part of that is external and very obvious um, conditions, the environment. Sometimes that will tell you yes or no. But when all those things are in order, then you really have to decide when you're ready to go. Because when you go, you go. <laughs> you can't go back to the edge. For a while I had this whole theory going on that there was like, <laughs> there was good fear and bad fear. Bad fear was the artificial self-induced pressure, you know, the thing that's making you perform badly even though you shouldn't. Like for example, usually rock climbing, if you fall, nothing really happens, but somehow you get scared sometimes. It's a performance destroyer. And then there's good fear where, you know, say you're in the mountains and you're in like avalanche slopes or, or say you're free soloing. I was like, well, that's good fear. You should listen to that. It's for survival. I did have an experience once where I was free soloing and I got really scared. And just all the ideas in your head of like, I'm gonna fall and it was really bad. After that experience, I decided that you have to control that, and you can't even go climbing without a rope if that's gonna be able to happen. Because that is gonna be the thing that causes you to fall. Because you're perfectly capable of the climbing, generally. Um, but if you, if you get seized by fear, that could be what will kill you. I think you, what you put in your head is what stays in there sometimes. It's all about controlling your brain and and just putting what you want in your brain and not allowing the things that you don't want. And that's like the crux of life. And so when you're afraid of things, like what could happen or what might not happen or what you have or what you might not have or, you know, all that stuff, that's just fear. I've been vegan for about eight years. And at first I was just trying to find a better eating style for climbing. Eight years ago, being vegan was not what it is now. Most athletes were like, yes, being vegan is not good for performance. You'll just be like pale and weak. After like two weeks, I was having performance increases in everything I was doing, including, you know, running, trail running, climbing, like noticeable. And I was like, huh? That's not what I thought. It's going to be a stir fry night because we've got lots of good vegetables. I always start with garlic, serrano pepper, and ginger and chop them all up and that's like the beginning of the stir fry. So the yam takes the longest so I'm going to cut it pretty small and put it in before the other vegetables. I would really not call this a recipe so much as like a tactic. We're stirring. Do some mushrooms now. 
peppers. Oops. I think we should put zucchini. I was not sure, but we have it. And I don't put the tofu till the very end because it's fragile. <laughs> as far as being vegan, it definitely was this performance increase for me. You eat all day long, every day, that's huge. So if you can reduce the harm you do in something so big, do it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just like through the roof.